This is it guys, the new BMW iX3 for 2026 and this is the first EV from the new Neue Class lineup. And here's everything you need to know about it. This is Alex from SoyaChange.com, live here in Munich, Germany. The Neue class marks a new era for BMW and it also introduces a new design language which is much cleaner and looks quite bold and what's more prominent is this new kidney grille. It's narrow and also illuminated and this is a good homage to the original Neue class from the 1960s. I kind of like this design. I think it's much better than the huge kidney grills we've seen on the recent BMWs. And you can see over here it has a very nice clean back look and the radar is actually hidden over here and you also have the front cameras on this side. And this headlights looks quite similar to what you get on the latest BMW i5s and iX2. And of course, you have this very nice twist on the boot and it looks quite bold, don't you think? I like this nice clean look, it looks very macho. I think this looks definitely better than the current BMW X3. What do you think? And what we have right here is the BMW iX3 50 X drive. So this is an old drive model with dual motors that pushes 463 horsepower and 645 Nm of torque. You can get from 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.9 seconds up to a top speed of 210 km per hour as based on the Gen 6 BMW E drive platform. What's remarkable is that the BMW iX3 is the brand's first 800 volt based EV and this EV has a huge 108 kilowatt hour battery capacity usable. The actual gross size is about 116 kilowatt hour and it supports very fast DC fast charging. With this platform, you can charge from 10 to 80% in 21 minutes because it has a peak rate of 400 kilowatts when you plug into our ultra high power DC chargers with 800 amps. So BMW reckons that in 10 minutes, you can get about 370 kilometers of range. That's very good for a quick top up along the highway. In terms of AC, it's available in both 11 kilowatts and 22 kilowatts depending on the equipment level at the certain market. Also not forgetting that this is the first BMW EV to support bi-directional charging. So besides supporting vehicle to load for the first time, which can use this EV as a giant power bank to power your home appliances up to 3.7 kilowatts, this EV also supports vehicle to home and vehicle to grid. So you can plug this to a DC wall box by BMW and can use it to power your home or sell the energy back to the grid. Pretty neat, right? If you're wondering why the iX3 is such an efficient vehicle, because it claims it can do up to 805 kilometers on a single charge. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, in terms of design, it's more aerodynamic. It has a drag coefficient rating of just 0.24. That's a massive improvement over the previous iX3 that's a rating of 0.29. And they also added extra touches such as more aerodynamic wheels, of course not this one, and it also has flush door handles. So all these small little things can help to cut down energy usage and improve the range. And BMW reckons that it has efficiency of between 15 to 18 kilowatt hour per 100 km. But of course, if you go on highway speeds, you should be looking at about 19 to 22 kilowatt hour per 100 km. But overall, very impressive. And in case you're wondering, the BMW iX3 comes with a new naming convention, which was first seen on the BMW X3. You notice it's a new batch design, which now says iX3 50. So previously it was like X Drive 30, so it's iX3 50. And in terms of boot capacity, this has a boot size. Oops, let me do it one more time. Cut. In terms of boot capacity, it has 520 liters. And if you fold the, the rear seats down, you can expand it further to 1750 liters. That's a lot. And if that's not enough, the BMW iX3 even comes to the front under the bonnet that gives you 58 liters of extra storage space. All right, so let's take a look inside. And this is the interior of the new BMW iX3. And you can see it's totally fresh. And in this model, we have the, the M Sport steering wheel, which is different from the rest. It's total of three designs. And one thing you notice that this is like a very futuristic interior. It's going to be a software defined car after all and one thing you notice is that you know they try to be very digital first in the sense that there's no instrument cluster anymore but what they did was they replaced it with this panoramic vision so you see in front of here there's like a display that has full width that stretches from the driver all the way to the passengers and over here you get your speedo your current drive modes your battery and the range and on the right side over here 
there's about six widgets which you can customize so you can have like the weather or the navigation displayed here just right underneath the windscreen which looks pretty cool so in a way it actually is very intuitive for drivers so you can pay attention on the road and then get your vital information at a glance over here and of course there's still a 3d hazard display on top of here of course I can show you on camera but there's a hazard display over here and on the center area here you get this new redesigned uh, center display which is quite massive and you can see that it's actually slanted towards the driver so for the right hand drive market it'll be slanted over that side so not to worry so i currently bmw designed in such a way that it's actually closer to the driver so look, look at this my stocks over here yes they have not gone all tesla you still have stocks and gear selector and everything is reachable from the touchscreen over here my only complaint is that the aircon vents right no longer have physical controls so to adjust the aircon you need to go to the climate and then adjust this you can have presets like direct indirect or free there you go you need to use the touch screen to adjust the directions of the vent maybe that's my only complaint over here but other than that you have physical controls everywhere and you have proper controls with the side mirrors for the power windows and on the steering wheel you also have buttons too they have something called shy tech so yes you have a lot of controls on the steering wheel but bmw wants to reduce distractions by not turning on the icons that's not relevant for you so let's say for example if you're maybe on cruise control you only eliminate the buttons that's necessary so on the left side is all your driving assist features like your adaptive cruise control with lane centering assist and on the right side you have your media controls so you can control your phone calls your music and you also have this scroll bar which is actually haptic so you rub your thumb over here you have this like a virtual haptic feeling that you're scrolling through pages so that's quite a nice touch and of course this is a single piece it's actually a capacity button with haptic feedback and you also get all your creature comfort stuff you've got two wireless charts over here two usb-c chargers two cup holders and you have this stubby over here to adjust the gear selector parking mode and yeah that's pretty much it and i haven't driven this car yet but I can, apparently bmw has made the driving experience a whole lot better it's apparently next level driving because it uses ai to ensure that you have this sign by assist with the with the machine so we need to drive it to really find out how it really works so apparently one reason why it's so efficient is because that 98 percent of braking is done purely on regen you can't tell whether you're using regen or physical brake so that's something i'm very excited to try out if you have the opportunity to test drive there you have it our first look at the new bmw ix3 the first entry in the Neue class it has faster charging more range and greater efficiency and most importantly more tech inside that's quite sensible and it's the first bmw ev to offer bi-directional charging you have v2l v2h and also v2g what you guys think of the bmw ix3 is this the ultimate five-seater electric suv and how does it compare with other premium chinese virals let me know in the comment section down below this is alex thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next one bye